The year is 399 BC. Marcus Furius Camillus seeks the title and powers of dictator, and his vision for Rome is grand indeed. A crossroads in history, a time of threat and of opportunity. But the city of Rome is not the only force you will have at your disposal in this pivotal moment in history. Let's look at the nine different playable factions available to play as in Total War Rome 2 Rise of the Republic. First up, one of the two Greek states is Syracuse. The jewel of Sicily, this city is ruled over by the great statesman Dionysus and boasts a strong relationship with the mercenary factions of the Mediterranean, giving them access to troops not available to other factions. Their special government action allows them to send out periodic expeditions to colonize new lands. Led by the enlightened statesman and inventor Archytas, said to have been the basis for Plato's concept of the philosopher king, the Greek state of Taurus is known for its progressive thinking. Taurus have the ability to employ philosophers to their court for the aid of writing scientific treaties and to assist in technological research. The proud people of the Senones are a recent arrival in Italy. The first of the two Gallic tribes playable in Rise of the Republic, the Senones can periodically call upon the Council of Druids to predict the futures of their warriors. These ghouls are not welcome in the lands of Italy, and the instincts they have as lethal invaders causes them problems when trying to peacefully occupy a settlement. As such, the Senones can only sack or raise conquered settlements. The wise and ancient Insubris arrived in Italy long ago, and after adopting some of the cultural and military traditions of the neighboring Etruscans, they've learned to speak the lingo of Latin politics. The Insubris will enjoy a bonus to diplomacy with all other factions in the campaign, and the Council of Druids will be able to assist them in civil affairs. First of the two playable Italian civilizations, Rome needs no introduction. A hundred years have passed since the expulsion of her last king, heralding the birth of the Republic. But times have been tough for the great city. Under new leadership, the Romans seek to expand their borders and will be able to periodically organize elections to appoint new consuls or dictators should they find themselves in times of need. They'll be well defended against invasions as well, utilizing the fortifications of the Capitoline Hill to force the enemy into two separate assaults. Tarcuna is one of the 12 cities of the Etruscan civilization. Shining amongst their peers in cultural, religious and industrious prominence, matched only by the Greek city-states. They will be able to periodically organize a summit of the Fainum Voltumne for a variety of different effects to their campaign. The people of Tarcuna are used to a life of luxury that is held up by their capital, however. Should it fall under enemy control, all will surely be lost, and the player will instantly lose their campaign. The power of their capital is far-reaching, though, with some minor settlement buildings upgrading instantly when certain buildings in their capital reach a new level. The lesser Italian tribes have much to do if they wish to keep their independence, the first of those tribes playable in Rise of the Republic being the Samnites. Dwellers of the mountains in the heart of Italy, the Samnites will enjoy a generous supply of natural resources. Their warriors are adaptable, and when placed in their regular stance, certain units under their command will receive benefits based on the terrain in which you are deployed. With the initiation of the ancient rite of Versacrum, a new army will arise instantaneously in honor of the gods, ready to do your bidding. Towards the northeast of Italy, the Veneti reign, a cultured and polished people whose fertile lands breed superior horses, ready to be trained into elite cavalry units. The most prestigious of which are set aside for the royal herd, which can be deployed to assist in military or civil development. The Veneti have a peculiar mix of Italian and Celtic culture, and even have some Greek influence on their way of life. The Ioli are a neuragic tribe residing on the island of Sardinia. Proud defenders of their isle, enemies who inhabit their territory, will take attrition from the citizens of the Ioli, whose natural duty is to defend their lands. With guerrilla tactics consisting of traps, ambushes and arrows in the dark, those who trespass will see their numbers diminish rapidly. The Ioli have a unique weapon at their disposal as well, the neuragic runner unit utilizing the peculiar armored glove. These Sardinians will enjoy a bountiful harvest on their prosperous island, and periodically they will celebrate with a Sardinian tournament for a variety of positive effects. 
Which faction will you be playing first in Rise of the Republic? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to sign up for our open beta of the ancestral update for Rome 2 to enjoy the family tree right now.